Hi friends, I'm so glad to be back with you as we kick off our October Do Unto Others series here at Plotwoods Church. I think this series has the potential to lead to some really meaningful conversations and practices in your grow group this month. So I'm excited for us to explore this topic together. What I love about this October series is that our church isn't doing it alone. Plotwoods is joining in with over a thousand churches all across the country who are coming together this fall to put into practice the values that Jesus taught us, kindness, respect, love, humility, and compassion. If that feels especially relevant right now, good, it's intentional. In our polarized world where things can easily become loud and heated, it's important that the church doesn't forfeit our voice, not by yelling the loudest, but by being grounded in the values of Christ. The purpose of this series is to remind us all that it is possible to engage with one another with kindness and respect, even across divisions of deeply held beliefs, in a way that honors and affirms the dignity and the shared humanity of all people. We are all called by Jesus to a third way, a way that seeks to listen, to include, to love, and to do unto others, the churchy way of saying treat others, the same way that we want to be treated. And look, we know this is not easy. Our theology and politics are important and have very serious real world consequences on people's lives, which is why emotions run high when we talk about these things. It's natural to feel anxious, protective, sad, and angry when we're faced with upsetting events and rhetoric in the world around us. That's why faith is a practice, and we hope that you'll be able to discuss and practice these values in loving and grace-filled conversations with your grow groups this month, a place where you're hopefully already building a community of trust and support. Throughout October, let's be looking for ways to encourage belonging, to start with curiosity, and to have courage in our grow group conversations. Let's always remember to begin by giving each other the benefit of the doubt and assuming best intentions in all of our interactions. I'm so excited for a month of great conversations and opportunities to practice our faith, and I hope you are too.